All right, Fan Nation, continuing our day four of the CGS, day three for the college portion of it, one-on-one interviews at the interview table. I am joined by the son of Vince Papali, Vinny Papali from Delaware. How are you doing, man? Good. Thank you for having me. Your dad was a real treat, but I, I got to tell you, I've never seen a dad be be more about his son knowing, like, you know, I guess who he is. And uh, is is that, is that, like, what what was it like growing up? You know, with with the guy uh, who's there, a, there's a movie about him. Yeah, know? I mean, obviously, it is what it is. Like, it was it was cool growing up. Uh, he blew up around the area. It's just everyone knows Papali. Everyone knows the name, especially around the Philly area. So it was cool. I had a lot of cool experiences. But at the end of the day, just like you said, uh, he just wants to be known as Vinny's dad, basically. <laughs> and uh, when he comes around my school, he comes around a lot uh, to my teammates. He's just Vinny's dad. And that's all he's always ever wanted to be. So it's cool. I mean, he's just my dad. I don't really think about it, but it is cool. Like when I look at the story and see all that he's accomplished and all that's happened. So yeah. So I mean, we're going to talk about you, and that's fine. But there's yeah. one burning question I have that you can answer for me. Uh, I mean, they do on the NFL Network a football life, and we're mm-hmm. talking about guys who their their life has been football, start yeah. to finish. His story, obviously, the long shot, you mm-hmm. know, the, the one that happened to do it through through open tryouts. And, you know, when you heard him tell his story and then saw the movie, uh, I don't know if which happened first, but, yeah. but did you watch that movie and you're like, hey, yeah. like, did you not tell me something or did they make that up? Uh, I mean, so I was pretty young when the movie came out. I was about nine. So I guess I didn't really have a full grasp on the entire situation and what he actually accomplished. And uh, even all the way up through high school, uh, I mean, I knew the story. I really, I understood the story, but I don't think I really got it until I went to college and I started playing college football. And I was playing college football. And I was like, wow, he really didn't play college football. That's pretty crazy. And I was like, how do you even do this if you never played college football? <laughs> right. So I'm like, wow, like this is pretty insane. And then that's when I really think I really started to appreciate what he did. And when you look back and his whole story, doing it, especially at 30, is honestly pretty insane. So, it took a while, but now I can definitely say, like, I understand, and it's crazy. Well, so, what has it been like for you to take the road that he did not travel, to go to college, to play college ball, to have him coach you since you were six, I think is what he said yesterday. Yeah, I mean, uh, it obviously gets tossed around, uh, like me following in his footsteps, but, I mean, I, I'm really not. When you look at it in the, at the situation, like I said, he never played college football. Um, but... I mean, it's been great. Uh, I love sort of making making a name for myself, going playing college football. I mean, that's always been a dream, get a college education. Um, I mean, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> it's been awesome. How was your career at Delaware? Uh, started off a little rocky with injury, um, but definitely finished strong. Uh, and I mean, it, it ended quick. Yeah, it flew by. So it's gone before I mean, you I, know I it. never thought I'd be in this seat. Uh, if you asked me a year ago, it's crazy. It really flew by, um, but I'm excited about the future and what's to come. You know, I thought it was um, especially special. <laughs> it was a special moment to have your dad in attendance for what this is, because mm-hmm. he was a man who succeeded given an opportunity, mm-hmm. and here you guys are taking advantage of an opportunity it's yeah. you guys that maybe feel that you were underrated underappreciated flew under the radar unintentionally a lot of yeah. unwords but you guys are here because you believe that you have what it takes to not only make it but succeed at that next level so yeah. here it is first of a new year mm-hmm. bowls just wrapped up national championship just wrapped up last night and you guys are putting the pads back on just like let's get to work yeah is that is that kind of yeah. how you're feeling I mean, about it yeah it's just an opportunity i mean when you look at it not every person who just finished their senior season has this opportunity and it's an amazing one when you look around and see all the exposure that you're getting the competition that you're getting it really is awesome and just going back to the old opportunity i mean it is what you make of it, and I'm just happy I have this opportunity to hopefully get my name out there, prove myself. And uh, I know, like you said, a lot of these guys flying under the radar. We d- we all definitely have that chip on our shoulder, so uh, it's definitely noti- noticeable on the field. And I think that's sort of good. It's a good trait to have that chip on your shoulder, 
and it's pretty cool to uh, compete with these guys every day. So tomorrow's the big day, scrimmage yeah. day, right? You know, you guys have been here, seminars, you've mm-hmm. heard speeches, talks from Stacy Elliott, mm-hmm. you know, Zeke's dad, and then, of course, uh, yeah. our financial guru, uh, yeah. Rod Newhouse. And then, of course, you've had uh, some do's and don'ts, maybe, of interviews yeah. and, and what yeah. scouts are looking for and, and draft day. So... You go out to the field, you put on the pads, you do the drills, you do the mm. work, and then, of course, you come back and you wait for your name to be called for an interview. Yeah. That hopefully is isn't it, just me, you know, there's yeah. 32 teams in there, yeah. plus some CFL. What's been your favorite part? Um, I mean, obviously, it's all cool, the interviews and stuff, yeah. uh, seeing this whole process, learning about the process, but it, at the end of the day, I mean, there's nothing like going out in the field and just putting on the pads and playing football, because that's what it really is at the end of the day. And, uh, yeah, I mean, just... I just love playing the game. I love practicing. It's nice being out in the field uh, after sitting around I mean, at night a lot. Uh, but uh, it is fun. I just love the football part. Now, have you sure. talked with the Eagles? Uh, no. No? no I oh, no. man. Because I was, no. was going to ask, you know, what, what would it mean to be an Eagle? I, I mean, obviously, oh, that's no. kind of like full circle, right, for your Yeah, family. I mean, I couldn't even imagine. That would just be an absolute dream come true, just growing up around Philly area and – around the Eagles, basically, and the organization. I've honestly just been a diehard fan my entire <laughs> life. So I, I'd probably be just like my dad. Like, he was a diehard fan. I'm a diehard fan. But if that would ever happen, I just, I can't even put words into it. It would be amazing. Have you reached the point now where your dad is asking you what it's like for things? Because obviously, you know, he, he didn't yeah. play college ball. He didn't go through a, a process like this or, you yeah. know, meeting with scouts. He went to an open tryout. So is he like, hey, man, what, so, yeah. so what was that like? Yeah, like, no, <laughs> he, he always says, he's like, when I grow up, I want to be you. So <laughs> that's what he always says. Uh, but he's just, he's just happy for me. Uh, he's along for the ride with me, and I'm glad I have him in my corner. Well, Two days out there, running the drills, doing the work, getting ready for the scrimmage tomorrow. Um, it's kind of the, the big day, the finale. Do you yeah. feel that you have left it all out on the field each day, and then tomorrow, if there's anything left, you're going to leave that out there? Or is it, were you saving just a little reserve for tomorrow? No, I mean, every day I've just been leaving it all on, out on the field. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, yeah. Like I said, <laughs> uh, this opportunity doesn't come around often. And uh, definitely got to make the most of it. So, I mean, I, f- I feel really good about these past two days. I'm excited for tomorrow. Going to leave it all out on the field again and uh, hopefully have a good day. Well, I'm excited to watch, man. Hey, Thank it's you a very pleasure. Much. I wish you the best of luck. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Vinny Papali of Delaware.